In this video, we're going to create a virtual machine, change it into a template, and change it back to a virtual machine. And heck, as many virtual machines as you want, actually. Next on Low Res DIY. In the last video, when we wanted a uh, operating system for containers, we would just go into our container templates, containers, pick one, and download it. For virtual machines, it's a little different. You still go to your local PVE. This time you go to your ISOs, and you'll have to upload an ISO. Now, you get your ISOs, you can go to like... Uh, Ubuntu desktop just do a search for it and and download it or go through the process of making an ISO for Windows you can do this with Windows 10 or 7 or XP or 98 or whatever the heck you you like uh, I have already downloaded Ubuntu 20.04 so I can just go to my ISOs and I want to upload one there's no pre-saved templates or anything for VMs with uh, Proxmox, so you click upload, and it's gonna ask you where it's at. Now, I downloaded it, so it's in my downloads file, and right there, Ubuntu 20.4, I'll select it, and I'll upload, and it'll start uploading it to your, your system. Okay, once it completes the upload, you'll see it in the name area here, and we can go ahead and create our VM. So we'll go up to the right and we'll click create VM. It'll pop this screen up. I like changing my VMs to 200, have my containers is 100, my VMs is 200. So I'm going to make this guy 201 and we're going to call it Ubuntu 20.04 desktop. And we're going to go ahead and click next. For your ISO image, we're going to pick that Ubuntu 20.04. It's Linux, so we're going to go ahead and click that to Linux. If you wanted to do Windows, you would change it to Microsoft. And I have a video on it, which I'll just I'll link it right here for you if you want to check that out. So Linux, we'll click Next. Our graphic card, we're going to leave as default. And give it however much disk space you want to give it. I, I like giving... Uh, desktops at least 100 gig and I'll click next and I'll get, you know we'll start out let's say four cores for it and I like to give it four gig of RAM also and you leave it on your virtual VBR VMBR one bridge for your network and let's go ahead and start it after creation click finish all right, it looks like it started up, so let's click on console. We'll click on our double arrows here. And unlike uh, the container where it just started loading everything for you, you didn't have to go through the installation process. With virtual machines, you do have to go through the uh, installation process. I'm not going to bore you with that uh, in this video, so I'm just going to go ahead and install it, and I'm just going to fast forward through it. And once it's all up and running, we'll be back. Okay, it has installed. So let's just click through all this. And let's make sure we have access to the internet. Looks like we do. Let's just try to go to something. Sure, let's go to YouTube. There you go, up and running. So go ahead and shut this guy down. Now that it's completely shut down, we want to go ahead and turn this into a template. Right click on it, scroll down to convert to template, and click it. And yes, we do want to convert it to a template. After a couple minutes, you'll notice the same thing as before as the container above it. It'll Make the icon smaller and put this piece of paper looking thing behind it. And container create, not container, I'm sorry, template created. So let's make a VM out of it again. So we want to clone it. Let's make it 202. Give it a name of, yeah, let's call it test VM. 
because we're super creative like that. And a full clone, click clone. Let me see, oh, parameters of the name. I don't think I can have a space in it. Let's try that again. There you go. So it's gonna start creating the clone now. All right, now that it has, it has completed creating the virtual machine, let's go ahead and start it up and make sure it works. And there you go, it's up and running. I'm going to shut it back down because I'm not going to use it for anything. But if you wanted to change the hardware, same thing, go over to hardware, you can click on memory and you can edit it. You can give it 8 gig of RAM if you want to. You can change the number of cores if you want to. Pretty much everything is right here. You can make the hard drive larger, uh, anything you want. Now that you know how to create a virtual machine, turn it into a template, create, take that template and turn it back into a virtual machine as many times as you want, you can go out there, grab your favorite flavor of Ubuntu or your favorite flavor of Windows and start cranking out uh, templates and virtual machines to try whatever you might want to try. Uh, I've even heard, I know people have put TrueNAS on, on the, in the virtual machines and a free NAS. So don't be scared, run out there, give it a try. And until next time, uh, hit that like button and that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.